Alright guys, welcome to 4.6 Savage. Here we have the eBay cold air intake kit for a 2.2 liter Camry. As you can see, this is all the pieces it comes with. You get your pre-bent pipe with your nipple for your, uh, your uh, vacuum hose. Already installed. The parts to hold it together. Your hardware. Nice filter. All for 44 It's not a bad price. Now if we go and walk back over to the Camry. Alright, so I pulled the intake air cleaner off. See, it's going to replace this right here, all this, and it's going to replace this. Now, when you first look at this, you might figure out how it's bolted in. You remove the air filter to come to find out that there are three bolts underneath there. We're going to get those out of the way, and then we will... Uh, come back to it and we will start our disassembly of the intake. Alright, so now that we have our tools, which is an extension on a quarter inch ratchet with a 10 millimeter, we're going to go ahead and break these loose. skip this part all right now that all three bolts are out you can uh, safely remove this get this out of the way now this is going to be our other issue I'm guessing this comes out I'm not sure because it looks very well in there Where's there is no way to get in there. Unless you take the wheel well out. My guess is it's either screwed in there because it would pull out if it wasn't. For the time being, that is going to stay there. Because it's tight enough where it's not going to fall out. And it may actually help pull a little bit of colder air from the fender. Because... That box, it was just sitting into the box, so it's not really tied into the box, so the box was not holding it in. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's not going to uh, work like that, and uh, take another look at it at another day. Now for the air intake, I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up. And that'll be a... Uh, it's meant, it's whatever size you have at the time, 5 sixteenths or a 8 millimeter. But, take it and do it. Break it loose. And make sure all your vacuum lines and things are out of the way. Yeah. Come on. There we go, we go loose and it comes off. Alright. Now, there's the old air intake, and as you can see it was cracking there. That's why I decided to replace. It has a big old and that crack is why I had to replace it. And here's your air silencer, which that'll no longer be there. Alright, so now your intake parts are out. Let's go ahead and examine here. Clean the throttle body up with a towel, and uh, then we will start the process of putting the new one in. Alright, so we're, next we're going to install the blue clamp. Well, the blue blue coupling with the clamp onto the throttle body so push it on and then you're going to tighten up the clamp do that now now that the clamps installed we're going to make sure that everything's tight which it was and we're going to move on to the air intake so let's go get the intake now you're also going to need the other clamp and you're going to do the same thing 
we are going to the air intake. The nipple side goes to the engine and is this side of the intake that goes to the engine and this is the other side because your sensor, your intake air temp sensor, which is over there, which was removed from the housing, goes in there. Now we slide, basically just slide this up here after we put the hose clamp on the thing because that's going to be a pain if we don't have that on there. that on and I know you fit there we go so that's on go ahead slide our intake up in here move the brackets out of the way all right well let's speed this up a bit we're gonna put the intake in and we're going to put the sensors in and uh, tie it down. I'll show you that after I'm done. All right, so intake has been installed, but the issue now is due to moving, the nipple broke off. It is cheap Chinese, so you know this does not surprise me, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it. So that'll be all for this video, and this is how you Kind of, sort of, install an eBay air intake kit, since it's cheap and likes to break. But all in all, it looks good. It looks better than what the old kit did. Remember guys, be savage.